Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So I have a video for you guys today that's a little bit different. I've never done a clean out video before. And last weekend I was extremely, extremely sick. I'm still kind of getting over my cold. But for some reason I got like this burst of energy at like midnight last Saturday. And I decided to clean out my makeup. I was kind of like reorganizing all my makeup collection and the organization. And then I just started pulling out stuff that I haven't used either in a long time, stuff that maybe I love but was getting just a little bit old and was already starting to kind of gross me out, and just stuff that were complete makeup regrets. So I did a complete clean out of my entire makeup collection. There are a lot of products that I'm either gonna be giving away to my friends or family, throwing away because they're either old or like halfway used, or I will be backing to MAC some of my MAC products and maybe get some new goodies when you recycle your MAC products. So I have a ton of products to show you guys. Then I think I will do an updated organization video because I did buy some more organizing um, acrylic little thingamajigs, I just can't think of the word, that I bought on Amazon by the brand by Allegory. So I do wanna share those with you guys. I did change my organization a little bit, but for the most part, the things that I love the most about my organization for my makeup stays the same. I still have my Muji drawers and all those things like that. But I did get a few other containers for makeup that I do want to share with you guys. And I kind of just like reorganized my makeup. But I'm getting rid of a lot, a lot of stuff. So that is kind of the stuff that I want to share with you guys. All the things that I'm going to get rid of. What I kind of, what kind of were my thoughts and the reasons why I'm getting rid of, rid of them. God, I can't even talk. And also a lot of products that I completely regret purchasing. So this is going to be a little bit of a makeup clean out regrets just kind of like a little bit of everything so we better get started because it's a lot of stuff so first i'm going to show you the boxes of the things that i am getting rid of these are two big boxes where i just packed in all the makeup and now my drawers are just like a little bit better organized so i'm definitely going to do a video dedicated to my organization but i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek how um, I kind of organize them where I can see all my makeup on one layer instead of having things stacked on top of the other. So now I'm gonna tell you everything that is inside these boxes and let you know why I'm getting rid of them or if I'm gonna give them away to my friends or family. So the very first things I will be getting rid of are the jumbo eyeshadow pencils from NYX. These were so popular a couple years ago or more than a couple years ago, maybe like four or five years ago. It was just so popular to use as bases. The white one, Milk, is extremely, extremely popular and a lot of people use them, but these do crease and these aren't like regrets of mine. I mean, I guess I do regret buying a color that is like bright orange because I never use this color, which is kind of why I'm getting rid of it. There are two that I have been debating whether I should keep or not that I did buy sometime earlier last year. So these aren't that old, but it's the color French fries and pure gold. I may or may not keep these, but the rest I'm definitely gonna get rid of. I might just even get rid of all of them. I haven't used these in a really long time. I have not even touched them. I usually tend to go towards my paint pots or even these NARS sticks that I have been using lately for bases for my eyeshadows, and I love these. I have had one bad experience with these that I got major, major eye allergy when I use these pencils. So I think it was ever since that day I got kind of scared to use them. So I just think I'm just really gonna get rid of all of these because honestly, I just have not used them in so long. Getting rid of the Bathina Body So Fine. This is by the brand Benefit. This actually still smells pretty good. You're supposed to kind of like get the sponge and like rub it like this on your skin. And it's supposed to make you look nice and like smooth and kind of like, I guess kind of like glowy skin on your legs or your arms. But I haven't used this in a long time and this is kind of grossing me out. It's I've had it for years and I just have never used it. So definitely getting rid of it. I'm also getting rid of some of my Coastal Scents palette. There was, there was a time when I kind of went a little crazy for these Coastal Scents palettes. Honestly, I never use them. I have so many palettes that I absolutely love. These I am going to give away because they're like in perfect condition. This is the Metal Mania one and it has like beautiful colors, but I just never use it. And they're actually pretty big that I don't even know where to put them. I do have some Morphe palettes that I just got that I'm having the same problem with. But those I am using and they're bigger. You know, like the, the actual pans are bigger than these little pans. And a lot of these little pans, they kind of like break off. So they were kind of annoying me already. 
but the packaging is not the greatest. They're big, they take up a lot of space. The Morphe ones do too, but those I do use and those are brand new and I'm really loving the new Morphe palettes that I got. So I'll show you guys in my organization video how I just store them there on the bottom of the drawer. This is another one. This is the 88 Warm palette. So these I'm definitely going to give away because I know some people will get really good use out of. And then this is the 88P one, the 88 palette with all the colors. So these are all in pretty good condition. Okay, okay also getting rid of this little palette that I got. This is not that old. I think I got this with some points at Sephora. I forgot if I got it with points or something like that. But this, I'm definitely gonna give to my sister. I think she'll really enjoy that little palette. It even has a little eyeliner so she can have that as well. And I'm also gonna get rid of this Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy palette. And this one looks like this. I took out the little eyeliner, which I'm gonna keep because I think it was a small version of Perversion, which I love. But this has the colors Midnight Cowboy, Midnight Cowboy Rides Again, Midnight Cowgirl, and Romp. And these three are so chunky and glittery that this is, I just really hate those colors. This is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy palette. But those colors are just so chunky and I hate those chunky colors that have like all this flex of like glitter. So that I'm definitely gonna just throw it out because I don't want my sister or my mom to look like a disco ball either. So I'm not gonna give those to her. From MAC, I'm getting rid of this Wonder Woman palette. This is the Golden Lariat Mineralized Skin Finish. I have two. I'm keeping the other one because it's a nice shade. But this one was just like a really random color. Why I bought it, I don't know. I guess you can use this one a little bit as, I don't know, it's very yellow. I Not, not even as a highlight. Maybe mix it in and use it in as a bronzer. To me, as a bronzer, it looks a little orangey. Now, this I'm going to give to my sister because she really loved this Wonder Woman packaging and I think if I give this away she'll kill me so I'm going to give it to her even if she just has it for decoration or she can kind of like use maybe a little bit as a blush or something if she wants it a little orangey blush but it's not something that I was able to really work with. I have a ton of lipsticks from MAC that I am going to back to MAC just because a lot of these have gotten old and now this I did the smell test with and I noticed that a lot of them already had that old type of smell. This one is the shade Plum Dandy, and this is a definitely definitely a regret because I just really don't like this color. So that I'm gonna be recycling. Another color I have that I used a lot is this color called Pretty Please. This is so old. I remember I got this, if I'm not mistaken, in 2005 because I remember exactly what I was doing at that time and in that moment, so it's time for it to go. But I did like that color Pretty Please. Really enjoyed it. These are total regrets. Equality is another MAC um, lipstick that I regret. It is like, if you put this on your lips, you look like dead because it looks like you're putting on a concealer. This is Secret Lover, another very light color, which I totally regret. I'm backing to MAC. This one here is Tamarama. I don't know why I wanted to get a color that was frost and white. So yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but those are those things that you do. But you don't know why, and that is why now they are a regret. Another one, I got rid of all these that were like white tones, which I don't even know what I bought. This one is called Bubbles. This one is Acid Wash. Same idea, these are just like white colors that have a lot of like either frost or, I don't know, you can't even see it very well there, but they're just awful colors that I would never wear on my lips. And this last one is Naturally Eccentric, which is another nude that is borderline white and it kind of makes you look like you're dead. So this one doesn't smell bad, but I just, I really just never use this color. So those are all colors that I'm gonna be taking back to MAC. I'm also getting rid of these concealers, the NW20 and the NC20. These are the Studio Finish Concealers. Now this, I love, these two I love, but I am just getting rid of them. These are excellent for you know covering your face. I like to use the NC one for any blemishes on my face, around my nose. It really conceals very, very great. And then the NW20 I have used under my eyes and I really love it. But these are so old that I just thought I would get rid of them. But I do like them a lot that I ended up buying the palette, which these two come in this palette. It has the NC20 and the NW20 in here. So now I just have them in a palette. But these are really, really great concealers. So I'm recycling those back to MAC. I also have a ton of lip glasses that I'm getting rid of either because they're old or because I don't like the color. These are the ones that I don't like the color. I'm getting rid of the outer space, which is like a white color. Again, painted on. Why in the world I bought a blue lip gloss? I don't know. This is called Ethereal. 
Another white one is called Girl on Board, Acid Washed, Almondine, and this other blue one called Chili. This is a cream sheen glass. So all these are definite regrets. These I'm just getting rid of because I've never even touched them and I don't even know why in the world I thought necessary that I buy a blue um, lip gloss or even those white colors. So those I'm getting rid of. I'm also gonna get rid of this Wonder Woman lip gloss. This is the shade, it doesn't even have a shade on the bottom, or it does, but I can't see it because it's very light. I can't, I can't even tell you what it's called. It's the Wonder Woman packaging, and this I'm getting rid of because look at this. It's just a mess. This is huge. This thing is huge. Let me put it up close. It is like the biggest applicator for lip gloss that you have ever seen, and whenever you apply it, you just get like a big chunk of lip product on your lips, and it just like goes all over the place. When you take it out of this thing, I've like, you know, it like kind of like sprays all over the place because it's just so much comes out with this. So I'm definitely gonna get rid of it. It's not because of the color, it's because of the packaging that I'm getting rid of this. Also getting rid of this um, Dazzle glass. This is in Dress to Dazzle, I think it's what it's called. Another one, this one I did like, I just used it up. So I'm getting rid of that one. Here's another purpley one. This is Lavender Wind. Even though it looks lavendery, it doesn't apply bad, so it wasn't that bad. Docile and Ice Skate. These, are, these I'm just kind of getting rid of because they're old and it was just time for them to be cleaned out and I haven't used them in a long time. This is definitely a regret. It is like a gray lip gloss and it's called Rock Out. Why I needed gray, who knows? And this one is called Goldie Rocks and this is a MAC Dazzle glass. It looks yellow here but it doesn't, actually doesn't come out yellow on the lips or anything like that. That was just old. Also from MAC, I really regret these. These are the MAC Lip Jellies, and I got these um, on one of the collections, but these are just way too, like, shimmery, so they look very metallic on the lips. Let me just show you a swatch. So I'm getting rid of these because I'm never gonna use these, and I honestly just really don't know why I bought them. They just look very, like, Kind of disco ball-y, very like shiny. They're not like a regular lip gloss. They just have a lot of glitter in there and it's just like way too much for the lips. So I'm definitely gonna be getting rid of these. I am gonna give away a bunch of these Lancome palettes. I have a bunch of these like quads. I just never use these. And honestly, a lot of these are like brand new. So, um, I mean, they're not brand new because I bought them a long time ago but they're barely even touched because I just like never use them. These are probably a little bit old. Um, I can't even remember when I bought these, but I guess I went through a phase where I was obsessed with these Lancome palettes. This is something that I do think I'll give away to probably my mom would like these um, eyeshadow palettes and I have a ton of them, but they were just kind of taking up space in my makeup. And I mean, I just never used them. Rid of these NYX glitters. I had a bunch of these. These are the ones that came with the little tassels, but for the sake of storing them, I um, got rid of the tassels, but these have already dried up, but these were really, really good. If I ever had to buy glitter, I'm not really, I don't really use glitter all that much unless it's like for like a Halloween or like something special that I'm doing. So um, if I ever need to go buy glitter, I think I would definitely buy some of these, but it's not something that I'm gonna buy to have in my collection until I need them because those did dry up and these dried up as well. And then I'm also getting rid of the little glitters like this. These I do kind of regret, I mean, I really haven't really used them. They're like little small little glitters like this. Um, I just never use them and they're old, so I'm throwing those away. Also getting rid of, I have a ton of like little samples of mascaras, which I usually do like. These I think I'm gonna give away. Um, these aren't old at all. They're just a lot of samples, but they're mascaras that I just don't like. For example, I don't like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This one um, is pretty new. I'm also not a fan of the Dior Show one. I just really do not like the Dior Show mascara because I think the applicator is just so big and it just does not work for my little lashes. I'm also getting rid of some of the perversion little samples that I have. I have two of those perversion samples. Not loving the perversion mascara. I'm getting rid of the Lorac Cobra mascara. This one has like a little curve. It looks like a little cobra snake, 
but I really didn't love. I have a blue mascara from Benefit. This is a Bad Gal blue mascara. I don't even know, I've never, I've probably used it like once or twice, but not something that I will ever repurchase. This is definitely a regret. That I'm gonna throw out because that's old. I'm also getting rid of this Hard Candy Fortune Gloss. It's like a purple lip gloss. This I just really never use, so that's going in the trash because it's old. This MAC Dazzle Glass in Shazam. This one I actually did like. I used this one a lot before. It gives you like a nice little like glow to the lips, but this is pretty old. So I'm going to be back putting this for back to MAC because I'm going to recycle it. But I really do love the Dazzle Glasses. Here's another Dazzle Glass that came out with a collection a really long time ago. This is a regret. This one is called Blackfire. I mean, it really doesn't look all that black when you apply it. But it's really not my favorite, and I don't really know why I bought a lip gloss like this. It's just so not my style. This is a really good lip gloss from Alme. I don't know if this still exists or if it's around. It's called Alme Ideal Gloss, and this is in the shade 350 Wine Shimmer. This is a beautiful, beautiful red gloss, but it is so old. It doesn't even smell bad. It smells still smells good, but I'm going to get rid of it because I have used it in the past a lot. And um, it is older, so I think it's time to dump it. I'm not going to go out and buy it right away, but it is something that I do think I would want to repurchase because it is a really pretty red color. And I'm also going to back to MAC some of the fluid lines. I have Silver Stroke, Iris Eyes, and Black Track. Black Track I really do love. Black Track is an awesome um, gel liner. This one's already pretty empty, and it's pretty old. So this one I do love and I do recommend. At some point in the future, I will maybe buy it again. But um, I've been using the Maybelline gel liner now. I have the purple one that I'm getting rid of. And then I also have a silver one, which I do regret because I really never did it use those all that much. I'm getting rid of this um, primer potion from Urban Decay. This is the one that has the color, has a little bit of color. This is the one that is in the color Sin. So this one looks like this. I really just never use this. I kind of prefer to just use a clear primer for the eye. I'm getting rid of some lipsticks from L'Oreal from the drugstore. Ferris Nude and Belladonna Mauve. These are really nice colors, but I just really never use them at all. So these I think I'm gonna give to my mom. Brow Fantasy from Revlon. This used to be my go-to um, brow pencil before I discovered Anastasia Brow Wiz. And now, I mean, I can't even believe that I used to love this all the time and I can't even believe I lived without the Anastasia Brow Wiz for so many years. This is what I used to use, but now I would never go back to using Rock it. Front of the Line Pro. I think this, I got this liquid liner with some palette and I just really did not like that liquid liner all that much. I'm also getting rid of this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is in the color Asphyxia. I actually was using this for a tutorial that I was just filming and I noticed that it had a scent already that it was already getting old. So um, I'm gonna throw this one away because I smell it. Um, Hard Candy, this is a Lash Tinsel Glitter Mascara. I got this at Walmart. I kind of regret this because I haven't even used Amazing it. Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. This is in the shade Light Golden. This actually I really like. This was a good concealer, but this is old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I haven't touched it in a really long time, and I have other concealers that I am completely in love with. I'm also getting rid of some powder um, eyeshadows. These are from Lancome. This is in the shade Daylight, which is a matte color. And this is in the shade Backstage Pass. So this is an intense color. I haven't used these in forever. And these are extremely, extremely old. And makeup Forever. For some reason, I felt the urge to buy some of these flash colors from Makeup Forever. And of course, I got the big size because I really love stick products like this. And these are like in a gold shade, kind of like a bronzy shade and a silver shade. I had originally bought these to use as a base. And I have to say that I have rarely, rarely used these as a base. So I'm going to just get rid of them. I bought these, I remember because I was in New York on my birthday and I went to the Makeup Forever store. And I believe it was my birthday in like 2000, like eight or nine or I can't even remember but it's been a long time so I'm definitely gonna be getting rid of these these are going trash okay so I'm getting rid of these eyeshadow palettes which I have been kind of just like holding on to because I love them so much 
There was a time that these were like my holy grail eyeshadow palettes. And you'll know exactly how long I've had these because they don't even have this in Sephora anymore. This was back in the day when Sephora carried Hard Candy brand. And now Hard Candy is at Walmart, but they don't have these um, quads anymore. These look like this. They were beautiful, beautiful little quads. Not that this is one of my favorite colors or anything like that, but this is what they looked like. Um, I used to always use the color Techno and it used to be my favorite. It was like my go-to palette. I really wish that they still made these, but they don't. So I have all these that I'm gonna be throwing out. And I don't wanna give these away because I know they're so old. So I'm also gonna get rid of these NYC quads. Well, these aren't quads. These are just like little eyeshadow palettes. Oh, actually they are quads. They have like four eyeshadows and then they have um, two other colors that are kind of like a primer base type of thing and an illuminator. So these are not old. These are in pretty good condition. So I think I will be giving these away so that my sister, my mom, or my friends can take their pick on what they want. But I just never use these, and these are good quality. Um, but, I mean, when you have so many palettes, like the Too Faced, the Urban Decay, and the Naked palettes, I have my It Cosmetics palette, the Lorac palettes, I just tend to grab those palettes, you know? And those are just the brands that I absolutely love my palettes from. So I'm gonna be getting rid of these so that someone else can make good use of them because I feel like it is such a waste that they're just gonna sit in my drawer, they're gonna get old, I'm gonna end up throwing them away, so I'd rather just someone enjoy them. Um, so I'm gonna be getting rid of those as well. Then I'm also gonna get rid of these, and these are really good palettes, and I actually really recommend them because they're very inexpensive from Wet n Wild. Um, these right here, these are the ones that have like the eight shadows. Some of these I just really don't use because the colors are very like bright. But I would say my favorite one is this one called Comfort Zone. This is one of my favorites from the drugstore. And this is actually the only one that I'm gonna keep for myself because I really like this Comfort Zone one from Wet n Wild. But I am gonna get rid of these other ones. These are three that are just so colorful. And I kind of have not been into doing colorful eyes in a really long time. Even though I used to always love to do like purples. But my sister loves to do colorful eyeshadow. So I'm going to give her these. Okay, I'm going to be getting rid of this palette. Which is a beautiful palette. It may come as a surprise that I'm getting rid of this. I'm going to give this to my sister for sure. Because she will love it. But I absolutely hate this packaging that Urban Decay has come up with. They have a new one of these already that came out, like another release of this style palette. And I'm just not even gonna buy it. I actually bought it, it came broken and then I returned it and I was like, I just didn't love the colors enough to keep it. I don't know where to put this. It doesn't fit in any drawer. It stinks that it has to go here. It has a lid that you have to lit. It has like a mirror where it gets all the fingerprints on it. It just really annoys me. And then it just got to the point where I just don't even use this, even though it has some great colors. But a lot of these colors that I like, like Chase, um, I already have in a single eyeshadow, which I love. Um, and I think my sister doesn't have anything like this, so she's really going to enjoy that. And I just don't want it. It's a regret. I hate that packaging. This is another regret from Urban Decay. I got this little palette. I think I got it because it was on sale on the Urban Decay website. But it has like a couple little tiny colors. They're so small. A lot of these are really chunky, chunky colors. So it's a palette that I just really do not like, and I'm getting rid of that. Also getting rid of these Urban Decay. These are the 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencils. I haven't used these in a really, really long time. The ones that I may use again are this one here called Juju and Rehab, which are kind of like brown colors. These are the ones that are more, more likely for me to use, but I guess I just haven't used them in such a long time. And a lot of these have already dried up. So they're pretty dried up. So I'm going to be getting just rid of all of them. Because, I mean, there's no point in having products that you can't use because they're old and dried up. I'm getting rid of some pigments. I did keep some. But I'm getting rid of vanilla and quick frost pigments. Because I just do not see me using this. And honestly, it's so much product. It's kind of like a waste. So I feel like if you're not going to use a color that you love it so much... You really just can never go through these pigments. So I'm going to back to MAC those as well. The one that I love is like the tan pigment. I think is the best pigment. And that one I'm keeping. Look, here's another Urban Decay pencil. 
this is in the shade lit see this one's dried up it's already kind of hard and when they're like that hard and dried up they're not good to put on the eye color tattoos so the Maybelline color tattoos I remember when I first tried those color tattoos they were like my favorite they were awesome eyeshadow cream eyeshadows worked awesome as bases and I fell in love with them they're awesome my big complaint about them is that they dry up pretty fast so I recommend that if you buy the color tattoos they're very good to use as eyeshadow bases but that you don't stock up on them because they will dry up and they will like will not work within like two months so they dry up pretty fast which is a huge regret and I love them so much that I went out and I bought all these colors thinking that they would at least last and they did not last the paint pots are much better for longevity the MAC paint pots last a really long time but these just don't so it's kind of a regret that I wasted the money and bought a bunch of these paint of these color tattoos when I'm not really going to be able to use them um, the one that I recommend the most is Bad to the Bronze. That one is my favorite, but I have to toss it because it's already super, super dry. And, I mean, there's still so much in there. So this is something that you should buy little by little if you're going to use it all the time. I wouldn't, like, collect a bunch of them. These products were a huge regret. Um, I just really, truly hated them. They dried out the lips. I have a ton of them. I bought these little ones in, like, a, I think it was, like, a holiday collection where you got a bunch of little ones in a little package. These are the Tarte Lip Surgeons, and some of these I think are matte, and some of them are not matte. But I'm getting rid of all of these. They just really dry up the lips. Um, I just really did not like them. I guess the colors, I also wore colors that I was gonna use. Um, I think I got them, not last Christmas, but maybe it was the Christmas before. So I mean, I think they still have some good use in them. I'll put them in the box where I'm gonna show um, my mom and my sis or my friends because I mean I think maybe someone can use them and this one I think I also got as a gift because I did not buy this one there's another lip surgeons they're just you know they're very drying and it smells it has a minty scent but then I smell something in there it smells like if it was getting old you know like that, that smell that it's kind of like your lipstick or a pencil is getting old mix in with the mint but I know they're not getting old because these aren't really that old so I feel like that was a scent. I think that was even the scent when I first bought them that I smelled them. I can smell it. So I just really did not like the scent. And I love minty things, but it has something else mixed in there that just ruins the scent. NYX lip glosses. These are actually very good lip glosses. I highly recommend them. These are the Mega Shine lip gloss. These I have used a lot. So they probably look like they're full, but um, I mean, I'm not done with them. I'm getting rid of them because they're older. But um, these are excellent, excellent products, and um, I would definitely repurchase them. The color that I like the most is beige, which is kind of like a pinky color. I also like the sugar pie one, but my favorite one is the beige. So these are excellent. I'm just getting rid of them because they're pretty old. Um, and some point, at some point, I'll go back and buy some more of these. Not something that I think is necessary immediately because I do love them, but I cannot. It's not like I can't live without them. So I'm um, getting rid of those. So I'm getting rid of this lipstick from Lancome, and this lipstick has a huge story. I've had this lipstick for over 10 years. Um, this used to be like my go-to lipstick for a while. Pretty much used it up. I was just holding it, keeping it, because it was one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. And of course, Lancome discontinued it. It's called Incognito. Incognito and Rose Artistic are two shades from Lancome lipsticks that like I just will never forget those names because Rose Artistic was my very first lipstick that I ever bought. My mom bought it for me, and I just loved it. It was a pretty pink color, and I wish they would release it again because I would buy it. And if they release this Incognito one again, I would definitely buy it, but they just don't. This was like a perfect nude color. It doesn't even smell bad, but this is so old. I mean, actually, it might even be more than 10 years old. I haven't used it in a really, really long time because I knew it was old. I was just kind of keeping it because it's like one of those lipsticks that you like love getting rid of these benefit lip glosses these i loved especially this one this is called wild child they just continued this line of lipsticks these are the ultra shines these were awesome and i think they're awesome but i'm just getting rid of them because i just really never use them anymore i guess because i know they're a little bit older and i've had them already for a long time so i'm just going to get rid of them but this wild child one was one of my favorites i used to use this all the time over max pervet lipstick and it was like the perfect 
most beautiful lip combo. From the brand Gerard Cosmetics, I'm getting rid of three of these light up lip glosses. I have a ton of these and I actually love them. But these three are a huge regret. I bought these towards the end. These are actually my most recent purchases, so they're pretty brand new. And I should have called them and reported them like and returned them and just see if something was wrong with them. But I didn't and I took too long to do it, so I'm sure now it's like way too late. But these are the shades um, Spring Fling, Madison Avenue, and Candy Kiss. Candy Kiss and Spring Fling, I really just don't like. They're way too light. It's like way too light of colors for lips but my biggest issue is that these three colors stink and I've mentioned these before in a video before but they just smell so bad again they smell like they went bad but they didn't because they're brand new um, and I love the concept of the light and the little mirror the one I like the most out of these colors is a Madison Avenue that is one that I may try to buy again just to see if this was like just like a bad batch or something but these three just stink so bad it's just a coincidence that the last three that I bought, they all just stunk so bad. So I really hope that they did not change something in the formula and that now the smell of all of them is this bad because they did not smell like this. The other ones I have, and I have a lot of these, they smell kind of fruity. Here's another regret from, from Gerard Cosmetics, Lilac Moon. Why I felt the need to buy a purple lipstick, I do not know. But I'm definitely never going to use this purple lipstick. I thought about keeping it. Maybe for Halloween, I'll want to wear a purple lipstick, but I mean, I'm just going to get rid of it. I mean, look at this. I'm not going to wear this on the lips. So this I'm going to get rid of, and I have a feeling that no one is going to take that lipstick from that box because everybody's going to be like, why am I going to wear purple? I'm also getting rid of this Benefit box. Um, this is called 10. This is like, has like a bronzer and a highlight, and this is what it looks like. Um, I just really never use them. I'm really not a fan of this box packaging that Benefit has. I mean, that's the only reason why I don't even own that Hula Bronzer. I heard it's great. I have a little sample here that I got from the Hula Bronzer um, from Sephora one time, but I just hate this packaging. So I'll never probably buy another box product from Benefit again, unless something came out that was like amazing. I'm getting rid of my Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is the original HD foundation. Now they came up with the Ultra HD. I haven't really touched it and I have a brand new Ultra HD so this one I'll give away the huge regret I have is from Eve Pearl I'm so happy I, when I went to buy this I bought this at IMATS I almost bought the big size but they were had run out of it so I bought this little size and I'm so happy I didn't get the big one because I hated it this is the Eve Pearl invisible finish powderless powder it's kind of like a creamy powder that you like put on your face to kind of like mattify you but it just it just like kind of gross and I remember one time I tried to put it on and my makeup all like bunched up and it just got like in big globs and the makeup all it just was awful so this is something that I'm gonna throw out I'm not even gonna give it to any white brush from Sigma this is like from the original Sigma when they when they first came out this is the SS182 when the first came out these are the original brushes they've done so many more wonderful things ever since then and they've revamped all their brushes and they're all amazing and this one I just didn't like all that much it kind of did shed a little bit and I have a bunch of other kabuki brushes I'm rid of this deluxe sample this is from Marc Jacobs this is the liquid eyeliner and I just really did not like this I love these deluxe samples because you can try out a bunch of products but after a while you get so many whenever you buy makeup that they start accumulating and taking up space in your makeup so with this clean out I got rid of all those deluxe samples that I don't like then for makeup forever I'm getting rid of this eyeliner cake and you're supposed to kind of like wet your brush and put it onto the eyeliner cake and it just makes you a nice little liquid eyeliner line. But I really never use this cake. I just prefer my old school liquid liner. Now I'm obsessed with the Kat Von D tattoo liners, but the best one from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Liner Intense. So those are the ones I use. I really never got use out of this cake liner. So this is a regret. Also from MAC, I'm getting rid of this. It says casual color lip and cheek color. It's this one right here. This is called Lazy Sunday. This I really never liked all that much. I mean, it was a gloss, but you can use it as a gloss and your cheeks. But this was definitely a regret for me because I really never used it all that much. And I think so those were pretty much all the products I got rid of. So I downsized my makeup collection a little bit. I just love it because now I just have all the makeup that I really, really love. There's still some other items in here that I was like, should I throw away or should I keep? 
So um, I put some things here that I just didn't want to give away just yet. But if I feel that I'm not using them in the next um, few months, I think I will definitely toss them. Maybe I'll show you guys those items when I do the updated makeup organization video. But it's always good to check your makeup. There's no point in having makeup take up space in your containers that you're not using or makeup that is getting old. So I just love to clean out sometimes. And I don't know, last weekend I just got into like this clean out rage and I cleaned out a lot, a lot of makeup. And I know that my mom, my sister, and some of my friends will really make good use out of some of those products that were excellent products that I just don't use and they were just taking up space in my drawers. And now I feel that my drawers, my drawers are so much more organized and everything is visible everything is on a first level there's nothing stacked under even though i have the space to add more makeup but for now my collection is pretty good um and now i have space for when i buy new things or new palettes that i want to add into my collection i have plenty of space to put them in here and still have everything visible for me and readily available so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this clean out video and that you got to see some of the products that I kind of regret purchasing because there were a couple of those in this video. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye.